games have seen such a rise in popularity over recent years as League of Legends, the real-time strategy game that is a spin-off from Warcraft 3. With 32 million registered legenders, crikey, and millions playing it every day, it is quite simply a phenomenon. And it looks bugger all like this. There you go, that's League of Legends. Inspired by the popular Defense of the Ancients Warcraft 3 map, since its release in 2009, it's become a staple on the eSports circuit, where huge prizes have attracted the likes of these two. Hi, my name's Stephen Fox, uh, aka Stog. And my name's Matthew, aka Plasma. And, and we, we both, both play League, League of Legends, Legends for Four Kings. Kings. So, not every League of Legends fan wants to play it professionally, but its esports credentials certainly won't have damaged its popularity. It's none other than Four Kings! Four Kings was founded in 1997. Um, they're the UK's premier team, and they're the first team to have salaries. Away oh down at bottom, we can see that Four Kings trying to uh, force Ash back onto his turret, trying to zone him out there as much as possible. As a team, we need nothing but the best. We're always looking to get the advantage over other team. Hello, Carthus. He's going to come in the air. Is he going to get the kill? Not quite. Oh, <laughs> what a flash. What a flash. They also went to, went across to win championships across the world. But they're there with all five R4 kings, which means that wind facts aren't going to come anywhere near that one. Baron Panda is going to take... Actually, no. Some of you might like a clear explanation of the rules of the game. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't it. Very simply, you there's two nexuses. Either team has a nexus. To get to the nexus, you have to kill a series of towers. Um, so you basically have to go through, work your way through, and destroy the enemy's base. Um, it's designed so there's three lanes, and the creeps all meet in the middle. And if no one were to play it, it'd just be consistent meeting in the middle and never kind of pushing either way. Um, the objective is overpower your enemies and push down and kill, uh, destroy the nexus. Got it. Two teams of either three or five battle each other on a map made up of three lanes, with the ultimate goal of using their champions to destroy the other team's defense towers, minions, champions, and ultimately their nexus. Got that? Of course you have. A recent Legends tournament had a million dollar prize. No wonder our duo liked the game. Defeat. It was at the time looking for a new game to play, um, kind of getting bored of of what we were playing uh, before that. A lot of the games now that have come out are just really expensive. I mean, take Diablo 3, that yeah. cost about 50, 60 pound. Whereas this is a game where you get to the put money play. into if you like it and you don't really need to put money into, which I think is really quite appealing. And mainly that it can be played at two very different levels. You can play it for fun, which is fine. But if you want to go into competitive play, then it's easily doable. Because League of Legends is free to play, there's nothing stopping you giving it a try. Do our duo have some tips on the game and how to play it competitively in a team like the Four Kings? Well, when you start playing League of Legends, you start level 1 and have to hit level 30 before you can actually play competitively. And I think that's it's at least 100 games where you can just get used to the game and get used to the champions. I'd, I'd say play with friends. I'd yeah. say that's the biggest way to get involved into playing League of Legends. It's people you know, really. yeah, and you feel comfortable playing with these people. I think to fully master the game, you need to know most of the champions and what they do. Developers Riot Games create a lot of videos aimed at the community, including spotlights on each champion. There are over 100 to master, don't you know? Ziggs is a ranged mage champion, adept at long-range bombardments, area of effect damage, and battlefield control. Ziggs's ultimate is Mega Inferno Bomb which blasts an area on the map, dealing tons of damage to all enemies caught in the area. Right, I do put a lot of time into you know, building the community on the right kind of principles as well. They take a lot of feedback from the players. They supply a lot of things. If a player wants to run a tourney, they can apply for the right games to give them money for a, just a player-funded tourney, which is, I think is pretty good. Although there's like other sides to the community as well. Like got, um, got like a cosplay section and that kind of thing and a, an arts and craft kind of section so you build something to do with the game, you post stuff online and they do a summer showcase. It's like every day I turn around and there's a new costume or piece of fan art to look at. Like this. Ekiholic is elegant in satin with this incredible Sona cosplay. Canopy Raider and Halicon Sun decided to decorate their snowy yard with a champion or two and as you can see Cassiopeia is among them. It just goes to show Free to play is here to stay. Gotta be a good thing, right?